uh, project manager, I need you to create a plan here of how uh, all the requirements of how we're going to untangle this knot, right? You guys can't, you're, you're just workers, so you don't think for yourselves. He's the one that's going to figure it all out, right? So I need you to create a step-by-step -step plan. Just stay still. No, shh. You guys are just workers. Sorry. Plan. What we're trying to get them to is a, a, you know, just a circle. They can't undo their hands, but they can, they can loosen them, but they can't untouch from those hands. You know, we had this, uh, this session this morning where they yeah. said there was a point where you had to realize it was time for you to move on to the <laughs> Let's do, let's do that. Let, let's let you untangle yourselves. So let's the team. You guys, you can you can move, um, but let's untangle yourselves. Lower your hands and let her step through. Oh, like this. There we go. Okay. So. All right. about an agile team. You've probably heard the term self-organization. That was self-organization. We empowered the team. We let them get involved in the solution and figuring it out. They, they all had, different people had different voices. There was one point, uh, it was in the, the kind of, oh, it's like a maroon color, sorry. Um, it just, it's a hard color for me to look at. Oh, yeah. I'm colorblind, so. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah. No, I'll forgive you, I'll forgive you. You know, he, he was, they were stuck kind of like this. And from where you were looking, you couldn't see exactly the solution. But folks that were a little further away could help you. You see that on teams. You don't want to have the meeting that's like, hey, I just need to talk with the architect and design this. And then we'll tell the team. Right? We want the team involved. We want the team to understand the problems. And so that's what an empirical process is like. We, didn't, we couldn't have figured out all the steps up front. 